your rear end, yes, we're talking about booty, uh, your rear end must not be wider than 21 inches, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to put mine to the test, you guys. <laughs> I'm about to measure my butt to see if I could be a flight attendant for Indiva. And Good morning, my lovelies. I hope everyone is doing well this holiday season. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. It was actually Christmas two days ago and we are approaching the new year. It is right around the corner. I wanted to wish every one of you an amazing year upcoming and an amazing upcoming um, career because I know you guys are all working toward your goal to be a flight attendant. Am I correct? <laughs> With that said, uh, I wanted to tell you guys about a an airline that has actually opened their door to flight attendants, other than the ones that I've mentioned in my past videos. And the name of this airline, now correct me if I'm wrong, because I might, with my accent, not pronounce this well, Endeavor. Endeavor, Endeavor, uh, E-N-D-E-A-V-O-R. So Endeavor, Endeavor, Endeavor. <laughs> my French is coming out. All right, anyways. So Endeavor Air. So remember that. It's Endeavor Air, not Endeavor Airlines. It's really important that you guys remember that, especially in your resume. If you were to apply, uh, make sure that you do not mention them as an airline. They want to be called Air. Just so you know, FYI, this is why you hire me. So then when I'm doing your resume, I am taking care of these little itty bitty bitty details. Um, now with that said, they are hiring and they are a derivative of Delta Airlines. So you've got Delta Airline, and you've got, which is a main line, and then you've got the little um, uh, regionals, and the regional is um, is actually Endeavor Airlines. So um, if you guys were to apply, I'm not sure about the benefits, if you're going to get the same benefits as Delta, my guess is you are. The only little difference is when it comes to the union. Yeah, Endeavor is unionized in a member of AFA, which my airline is also a member, and it is also unionized, which is really important because you get representation. You can't just get canned or fired for no reason. There's always someone protecting you. Um, so that gives you, um, you know, kind of an advantage when you do work for an airline. So it's actually a really good airline when you think about it. It's kind of surprising that uh, Delta is not unionized. I'm kind of disappointed, but you would tend to think that a huge airline like that would, but they're not. So basically, whatever decisions they make, they make. So if they want to kick you out of the airline because you're not behaving, they will kick you out with no questions asked. Now, with that said, um, let me tell you a little bit more about the airline. And you're going to get surprised. I'm sure by the title, you'll understand that this is going to be a weird video because they have certain... Um, things that they need to abide by in order to hire you. So bear with me and I'm going to get to the funny part really soon. Um, all right. So training is four weeks long. Okay. Now their main base is Minneapolis. So MSP. Um, and so make sure that you are ready and willing to travel. It is very cold right now in Minneapolis. So if it's, uh, and you might be stationed there. So just know that if this is a place that you are comfortable with and you're okay with winter, you're okay with snow, you may be stationed there and you may have to actually move there or commute there if this is where you want to uh, work. Now, um, so it is a four week long training. It is helped held in MSP also pays a thousand dollars for the four weeks, which is really good because our training was for my airline. I want to say almost four because it was three intensive week. The fourth one uh, was when you did your OE, which is when you're kind of like judged and looked at and you're putting everything to use in the air and there's someone watching over you that scores you to see if they want to let you work or not. Um, and so for four weeks, a thousand for us for three weeks was, I believe, 630 or 650. I can't remember because it's been already two years, but, um, yeah, so it's, there's a big, there's a big pay difference. And again, Delta always pays a little more, although this regional does not pay as much as mine coming into when I first was a new hire. The starting pay is $19 an hour start pay. I don't even think they make that at McDonald's. <laughs> Uh, I think they make a little more than that. But anyway, just keep that in mind, you guys, because that's not a lot of money. Uh, it is a regional. You will get a pay uh, increase, but you're starting out at 19. Um, they are guaranteeing you at 75 hours a month. 
Now, if you do over that, it may be considered um, overtime, uh, but they are guaranteeing you 75 hours. So whether they call you or not, and whether you're on reserve or not, you are getting paid the 75 hours regardless. So that's a good thing because we are guaranteed at 72. So you can see a little difference of three hours there. Um, and then they have a mission statement, which means, you know, they expect you to be, to abide by rules, to be respectful, to be hardworking and, you know, safety, customer. And those are all the things I will talk to you about. If you are to hire me, we would have a phone conversation and I would kind of coach you as to how to answer the questions and what they're expecting from you. Also, um, Okay, so the minimum age is 21 years of age. So remember that. Uh, the minimum height, there is no minimum height, but you must be under 5 feet 10. So you have to be 5 feet 10 and under, but there is no minimum or maximum. Well, your maximum is 5'10 because you have to be no taller than 5'10 as, without shoes. So if you're like 5'10 and a half, they may give you a hard time. So make sure that you are under 5'10". And the reason being is because that regional only flies the little, little planes, you guys. So there, you're looking at your 50 seaters. That means they're little, they're almost like jets and they're very small. Uh, you might get stuck working by yourself or working with two flight attendants at times, but I'm guessing it's one. I'm not sure I'd have to read about that. I, I believe they're CRJ 900s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so they're the smaller planes. So they have a lot of those and those are the ones that you would be working on. So remember that you cannot be tall because if you're too tall, then you'd be hunched over and that kind of defeats the purpose of you being there for their safety if you're not comfortable walking through the cabin. So under 5'10", without heels. So make sure that if you have to measure yourself, do so before you do apply because you don't want to you don't want to apply when you know that you're just not going to get the job because they will measure you. Um, also, okay, so this one you guys are going to love. Okay, this is a little tricky. I've never heard this from any airline before. They really, um, you know, <laughs> they really made me take a second look. I mean, when I looked at that, I was like, no, they didn't. There's no way. So get this, you guys. All right. So your rear end, <laughs> yes, we're talking about booty, uh, your rear end, must not be wider than 21 inches, you guys. <laughs> and I understand that because as a flight attendant, I am seated next to another flight attendant. And if remotely she's, let's just say, you know, she is comfortably plump. Let's just put it that way. Um, it is, it does get uncomfortable because you do kind of sit next to someone that is taking a lot of volume and a lot of space. And so you're kind of like uncomfortable seating. Um, and it also goes with the weight. Unfortunately, if you do have a wider derriere, you are a little on the heavier side. And these seats are made to kind of like go with a certain weight. Now they cannot by law tell you if you're heavy, you can't get the job. Uh, I've seen people just gain weight and still keep their job, but coming into it, they probably, because it is a small plane, they probably have weight restriction as far as their seat is concerned or a little flight attendant seat. And so I'm guessing that they want to remain within a certain, um, you know, weight range just out of respect, they do not say that, but they do want you to have a certain size in butt. So if you are JLo and you're thin, you're probably out of luck. <laughs> because they would not allow her in there because you would be taking too much space and you wouldn't allow the next flight attendant seated next to you to be comfortable. And again, that's not a good thing. So, um, and they were trying to avoid, I guess, hiring more of the heavy set candidate. I could be wrong in that understanding, but because they specify, um, it's just weird how they want to make sure that you do measure uh, correctly. Now, will they actually sit you down or stand you up and measure your butt? I don't know. They have to have a reason why they will not. They might just make you go through the process of hiring, but if they see that you're probably a little larger than usual, and I'm talking about your butt, not your size, um, then they might not say anything, but just not put you through, which I think is ridiculous to be honest with you. Like I said, I've worked with a lot of people that are heavy, a lot of people that are just wider. That's just your 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 nature. But it, it is said here that a, it's actually one of the job listing requirements, you guys. Like this is, <laughs> it must fit in the jump seat. That is 21, 
So it must fit in a jump seat that is 21 wide. And so just so you guys get an idea, um, a size 14 to 16 may get close to the 21 wide measurement. Um, um, I know the size 14 is about a 20 inch, but, uh, but again, it, it, you know, it's like, again, if you're looking at uh, the Kardashian, did I say JLo? Yeah, I did say JLo. JLo or the Kardashian, they are wide and I don't see why they shouldn't be able to become flatter than if they wanted to. So I think that's a little ridiculous. Um, but if you guys are nervous and you're not sure you might get the job because of your butt, I'm going to put mine to the test, you guys. <laughs> I'm about to measure my butt to see if I could be a flight attendant for Endeavor. Endeavor, Endeavor. So let's do it together. I know this sounds really ridiculous. So here you go, measuring tape. Measuring tape is 21. I'm gonna go to 21 and I'm gonna turn around and I am gonna measure myself to the 21 mark. And let's just see if I could be a flight attendant. Yes, I believe I can, you guys. <laughs> I would have to be about this size six, eight right now. Um, I've got a small waist, but kind of like a larger body, upper and lower. So um, if I were you, I would definitely measure myself, see if I could fit. If I'm 21 on the dot, I'd still go for the interview. But just make sure you're aware of that rule. I don't know if they'll mention it in training. Uh, I know that it is said that it is important that you follow the guidelines and the requirements. So with that said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is crazy. I have never heard of someone, you know, getting hired. Um... I mean, you could have a great personality and be intelligent and be everything that they want, but oops, you're 23. Now what? You're not going to hire me? Hmm. Question, question. Anyways, suspicious. <laughs> Anyways, guys, keep that in mind. I think, I hope this was educational. Again, flywithshelly at gmail.com. You can reach me at any time. I will reply. I reply to everyone. If you want some help with coaching, this is a time. This is the third or fourth airline that I've mentioned that are hiring. So everything going on, uh, as I told you, everything after the holidays, they start hiring right now. So Get to it, get working, make sure you get your resume in place, make sure you get your coaching so you don't wait for last minute. And um, I'm here for you guys. So hopefully you have a, an amazing new year. I will come up with another bracelet uh, review. A lot of you um, have been asking me about, you know, questions, how do I wear it? What do you do to take care of it, et cetera, et cetera. I've had so many questions about my bracelet. Um, I am in the process of having more information about the bracelet. I'm gonna have a link to my website for the bracelet as well. And the bracelet has given me so much luck. And so I wanted to share that with you guys uh, as well. So I hope this was informative again. Reach me, reach me if you need any help. And I love you guys. Happy New Year. Enjoy yourself, stay safe. Love you. And may you go in peace. <laughs> Bye and good luck you guys with your career. See you later. See you in the skies. Bye.